Hello, welcome. The Suji Aviator here in the cockpit of the M346, and we've just conducted a go-around from Southampton Airport in the United Kingdom because the weather is horrendous. I can't say the same about this aircraft because look at that aeroplane, India Fox Teco M346, and this is the fighter attack variant. It looks amazing. As does the weather, so I've got the weather set to real weather, and I love how it has these little pockets of nice weather, as you'd expect, because it's real weather. But in a sim, this is just great. I love it. But over there, it looks bad. Low cloud, about 100 feet, fog, low visibility. So what are we going to do? We're going to divert? No, of course we're not. We're going to try again because I love a challenge. But this time I'll cheat a little bit and use the autopilot. Yes, I know it's less fun, but you know what? I want to land and I want to see if it's possible. And I also want to play with the systems on this aircraft, so we'll see. But I'll be landing it myself, even though I'm using autopilot, because this certainly isn't certified for autopilot landing. It probably isn't certified for autocoupled ILS, but we're going to give it a go anyway. So here we go. Uh, autopilot. <laughs> what was that? Interesting. OK, so the heading bug was left, so that's that was aggressive. Yeah, that I definitely would have hit my head off the canopy with that. So top tip is make sure the heading bug is aligned if you're using heading hold and make sure the altitude also is set to the one you're at, unless you're happy for it just to start descending. I would like it to be nice and stable before I start adjusting parameters. So here we go. That's still aggressive, but we're there. Bit of heading bug right, aircraft is following it. Double check of the system. Ah, I can relax a bit. Good. So the plan is to shoot the ILS to runway 20. I use the autopilot until I'm visual with the runway and then take over manually and land it. Look at that. That's cool. It's probably about time to start the descent. So let's start going down to about two and a half, two thousand five hundred. 2,500. Uh, the inbound course is normally at 1,800 feet AMSL. Uh, so that's what we'll get down to eventually. Final approach track is 199, and the final approach uh, or the descent point should be about 5.2 miles from the ILS. So now we have begun our descent into the soup. What I'll do is I'll just heading hold or move the heading bug around to base leg and then intercept. And then hopefully the ILS does its magic. I've flown many approaches like this in the real world where you're entering the cloud at fairly low level and just hoping that you pop out in time to see the runway. But the sim's doing a fantastic job of the weather. All right, so here we go. Heading bugs onto a base position, but we're fairly close to the localizer. So I'll keep it coming round and just plan for a 30 to 40 degree cut. And then if I hit autopilot localizer, it should take care of the rest. That's what I'm hoping. But I am less than proficient in this aircraft because I fly so many different models in the sim it would be, just be too difficult to stay on top of them all. So I'm just trying my best here. OK, with our intercept course, it's about time to click over to localizer. And you can see on the left, MFD, the course deviation index coming across. The autopilot is steering us onto the inbound track. All going well so far. Well, is it down to uh, 1,800 feet? Just monitor the system. And then once we're stable, we'll configure. OK, gear down. Flap to take off. Hello. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah. Ah, OK. Well, maybe the aircraft doesn't like <laughs> configuring whilst on autopilot. Maybe it's a bug. I'll feed it back to the developer. But it looks like I might have to fly this manually again. 
This is going to be hard work. Still fairly stable. I'll accept being slightly low. Of course, my intercept on the glide path is going to be slightly later. Nope, it still wants to go down before the glide slope. Okay, autopilot off. We are flying this manually. Oh. Okay, well, I've had the practice, so let's get this done. Let's snatch victory from the jaws of defeat here. Okay, so flying it manually, uh, I prefer the display in the MFD, where I have a traditional HSI with the course bar and the glide slope. In the HUD, you have the same reference, but I don't like it so much. It's the raw feed. It's not a flight director per se. And it might be because I had, I'm not sure how to switch the flight director on properly. I mean, it looks like it's displaying, but it doesn't show me which way to steer the aircraft. So what I'm doing is flying it manually uh, using the heading ribbon. You can see a little arrow in the heading ribbon, which is where my track is. So I'll put the nose of the aircraft left or right of that. And then just lobster eye or just glance down at my left MFD to make sure I'm lined up. And do small corrections, so... Okay, so we are on the glide slope, descending, flaps down, gear down, on track, on localizer. Okay, Cat C aircraft, which uh, aircraft when configured can make their approach at less than 140 knots, I think. I had a quick Google. I uh, can take this down to 244 feet above mean sea level, which is 200 feet above the airfield. So once we make it, if we make it, <laughs> I will, I will uh, freeze frame and see actually at what altitude we saw stuff. But I'm just keeping the flight path marker around about the three degree nose down, which should equate to a three degree glide path, which is roughly what most ILSs a set at maybe two and a half maybe three and then just scanning that MFD checking the heading ribbon and just moving the nose left or right ever so slightly as required it concentrates the mind okay I can see stuff not enough references, but I can see the ground. Oh my goodness. It's start getting tense. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Don't start over controlling Chris. Keep it smooth. And yeah, there we go. I've got it. Come on. Oh, that's pretty heavy. But survivable. Any good landing is one you can walk away from, of course. And this one, we seem to have the aircraft intact. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. If you like the content, please hit the like button. If you want to support the channel, please subscribe. It's free, but very much appreciated. And I'll throw up a graphic of when I actually saw the lights and the playback and see how close I was. But uh, see you next time.